Okay, welcome to um, Python Challenges. This is difficulty level five, and we will be using uh, data structures today. Remember, we'll be building on everything that we've done so far. So we'll be using if statements, we'll be using um, user inputs, date types, and um, uh, loops. Okay, remember to use the planning sheet because it'll support you throughout these tasks. One thing that you need to be using throughout a lot of these challenges now is this sort of planning sheet. You can find it on the link to the resources. This planning sheet just enables you to think through a program before you start to program it. So think about what are the requirements, a little couple of bullet points, what they do, what possible variables or constants do I need, and a little tick list. Do you need to use selection? Do you need to use some of these things in here? Now, some of them are not covered yet in these challenges, but that's what we need to think about. So have a think about this planning sheet so you're really clear on some of the challenges that you can use. See if you can now change and adapt the below code. So see if it allows users to select a food from the array and loop until the user um, selects to exit and then outputs everything in alphabetical order. So some key things there you need to consider. So this sort of exiting, um, change a selected food and then output in alphabetical order. So make sure you can do those array elements. All right, so from there, again, we've got our code which we had originally, which is up here. And you can see here, this changes here to the original code. So you can see here, it changes the array element zero to cheese. So that would be pizza to cheese if I was to run that code. I've got my loop so to exit. I've got a click Y to exit. I'm going to ask the user to input something. It's going to check to see if it is in food. So if it is in the food, great. Yeah, it's going to say, yep, it's in the foods. So now it's going to say, right, well, what would you like to change it to? So then it's going to replace it. So it's going to get the user input here and it's going to grab the food index, which is the, the number elements it's in. And then it's going to use that food index to um, change that user input. Okay.